What is going on dudes? My name is Danger and welcome to a new video. Today guys, um, what's up? It's been a while since I've done like a full-fledged commentary with you guys. Um, I kind of missed that connection, but I don't always get to have it because really I haven't, <laughs> I haven't really been scheduling like making videos. It's just been like what I've been playing recently, which has been a lot of zombies and Zetsubon Nishima, which is what you're seeing right now. So, yeah. So basically, today what we're going to be talking about is Infinite Warfare, Infinity Ward's next game for Call of Duty 2016. Now, about a week ago, we started getting all these leaks and rumors about the next Call of Duty game, you know, releasing soon. Or not releasing soon, but releasing a trailer soon. And uh, then, like, a day later after we get that, we get a name for the game called Infinite Warfare, as well as, like, a promotional thing that tells us that it's going to be, like, bundled with a special edition that gives you Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, obviously, we didn't know if this was true or not at the time. We just had to go off of what other people were saying about it. But then, just today, actually, as of recording this, it's going to be tomorrow probably whenever uh, this gets uploaded, they released the Infinite Warfare reveal trailer. Although, you know, a few days ago they started uh, releasing all these teaser things and, you know, updating Newtown with special stuff over the weekend. But, yeah, so we finally got the reveal trailer today. And what that consisted of was, you know, just a lot of campaign stuff and that kind of nonsense like they always do for, you know, the first ever trailer for them. Now, whenever I saw this, I was really excited because, first of all, I have not enjoyed an Infinity Ward game, unfortunately, ever since Modern Warfare 3, which was in total five years ago. Uh, Ghosts, in my opinion, was really bad, as a lot of other people think as well. So I just didn't really get the feel for it, and I haven't felt the feel of a new Infinity Ward game since then. Now, for whenever they released the reveal trailer, I felt really good about the game. I'm like, hey, you know, this is going to be cool. And then, like, I, you know, go to school afterwards and all that kind of stuff, feeling really good throughout the whole day, like, yes, this looks awesome. And then I come back and realize that um, there was some advanced movements shown within the trailer, unfortunately. Um, it's not that big of a setback, really. Um, I would rather it not have it, but that's completely fine with me. I mean, the last two Call of Duty's have had it, and I've gotten used to it, and, you know, it's, it's fine on my part, but a lot of other people think otherwise. Now, basically, once people saw the trailer and started seeing that it was, like, gonna be futuristic, they just started going nuts with, like, all of the hate on it, like, just saying, like, oh, it's a bad game, oh my gosh, I, I want COD 4, but I don't want to have to buy the trash with it. It's, like, a lot of people that I saw on Twitter, you know, on everything were saying that, and I can agree with them somewhat there for all the older Call of Duty fans who want it back, but really, guys... All I have to say is don't judge a book by its cover. Um, obviously, a lot of people think Black Ops 3 multiplayer is pretty decent by itself. Um, a few people don't. Uh, I know one person, which is my cousin, he really doesn't like it. But that's fine. It's whatever people think. I personally do like the Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Um, so yeah, but don't judge a book by its cover just because it's futuristic, just because it has advanced movements. We don't even know if the advanced movement's going to be in multiplayer yet. We have not seen anything. Although we have gotten some uh, kind of hints towards it, like there's going to be uh, special like features in the movement or something like that. I don't know if they're actually meaning uh, movements like Exos, or if it's going to be like just extra things added on, like how they added in the slide in Ghosts. Which is kind of surprising that Ghosts was the first game to introduce sliding, and it's been the last you know, three Call of Duties ever since then, you know, Ghost, Advanced Warfare, and Black Ops 3, um, which is really cool to see. The slide is always, you know, very useful. Um, it used to be just the Dolphin Dive on Treyarch games, which wasn't very helpful at all. It was cool to see, but 
really had no tactical use at all. Um, but yeah, guys, just stick with this game, and I'm sure something will happen. But not just that, is that earlier today, I think it was maybe 4 p.m. or something like that, something like that, um, basically we got this live stream from Call of Duty, which basically, you know, talked about us, like, interviewing all of the Infinity Ward people about, uh, I'm so, so, uh, uneducated in this stuff, all the developers at Infinity Ward, um, they just talked to them about, like, what can we expect to see, and all that kind of stuff, you know, normal stuff for a while there, you know, about the campaign, multiplayer, they said they can't reveal a lot about the multiplayer, um, which is to be expected, but then they call on this one guy, I don't know his name, I'm sorry, uh, I have not, again, enjoyed an Infinity Ward game in five years, and back at, in that time, I didn't even care about who the developers were, I only knew, like, David Vonderhaar from the memes, um, but, yeah, so, he comes out, and he gets asked, what will be the co-op mode in Infinite Warfare, and then he comes straight out with the answer, you know, no holding back, he's like, guys, it is official, it is going to be zombies, now, basically, whenever they reveal this, it's like, okay, that's awesome, new features and stuff, what's gonna be about, like, how's it gonna be different from uh, Advanced Warfare Zombies, because unless they make it, you know, sort of magical like uh, Black Ops 3 is, and only make it, like, futuristic, how's it gonna differ from Advanced Warfare? Obviously, you know, they can put it in space or whatever, make it on a different planet even, um, you know, that'd be pretty cool as well, but a lot of people are really excited about this, and I am one of them. Uh, I think another Zombies for a different studio is great. That means we are guaranteed from now on a new Zombies experience every single year of Call of Duty. So we never have to really worry about that stuff. Now, obviously, if, if Infinity Ward Zombies doesn't go down well, then they probably won't do it again. But I think they will. Exo Zombies went pretty well from the people who actually played the game. I mean, obviously, people who never played the game before are just like, Oh, it's stupid. It's... It's dumb, you can jump over the zombies, which really, it was still pretty hard, if not harder than Black Ops 3 zombies, or any kind of Treyarch zombies whatsoever, because freaking EMP guys, oh, I hope they don't bring those back in Advanced Warfare, but, or Advanced Warfare 2, but again, they gotta bounce it out some way. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's basically my opinions. Overall, I'm super excited for Infant Warfare, and I'm also super excited about the COD 4 Remastered. Like, all these other people are saying, you know, completely 100% they are more excited for COD 4, but me personally I'm more excited for Infinite Warfare just because I've already played COD 4. Everybody has already played COD 4 basically. So I don't understand why you'd be more excited about that. I mean obviously, you know, re relive some nostalgia, play like a few matches, but then you get bored because there's no new, you know, stuff from the original game. So it's really, really a predicament we find ourselves in and hopefully people will realize that Infinite Warfare has a lot of good potential. Um, I've been trying to convince people of that all day today on Twitter and various platforms, but yeah. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. Let me know down in the comment section below what you are excited for the most for Infinite Warfare, whether it be Infinite Warfare itself, the zombies, the multiplayer, the campaign, or COD 4 multiplayer campaign, or COD 4 in general. Uh, again, just let me know, and I will talk to you guys.